What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. Hope all you're having a great day today. Um, getting into this episode of Days. Listen, I was here for this episode. It was a lot of good drama today. Um, the whole episode pretty much focused on the fallout from the Xander Nicole scandal. So that's pretty much the whole episode. It just focused on that. And I was here for it, though. It was good. Um, Nicole tried. She really tried to lie her way out of this. But I'm like, sweetie, it ain't working for you. You might as well go ahead and tell the truth. <laughs> Nicole dead ass try to lie. I'm like, the lie ain't working because ain't nobody buying it. Her facial expression, body expression, everything was just giving the vibe that you're lying. Like, even Marlena noticed that. She was like, yeah, did you lying? <laughs> Everybody noticed it. Like, she really tried to sit there um, talking about something when uh, Eric asked her, did you go to his room? Because Xander was like, oh, she came to my room and stuff. And Eric was asking Nicole, did you go to his room? She said, no. <laughs> Yo, the way she said no so confidently, knowing she lying. <laughs> I said, why are you sitting here lying? Tell that man the truth. And then on top of that, she had Brady and Chloe trying to cover for her. About the, um, because... Sammy brought up the fact that the Salem men had no record of Nicole getting a room there. Like she claimed she did. Um, she tried to come up with the excuse. Oh, I use my basic black corporate card. She was like your corporate card. She was like, so you produced a corporate receipt and all that. Why would you keep the receipt and stuff? So Brady jumped in and basically said like he told her to keep the receipt or whatever. I guess to reimburse the company or whatever for the room. Um, you know, they just pretty much try to have an answer for everything. And Xander just kept laying it on thick. So Xander ended up throwing Sammy name under the bus. He threw her under the bus. And when he mentioned Sammy, Sammy was like, bitch, don't put me in this shit. <laughs> Sammy was like, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Cause Sammy was scared when he mentioned her name. He was like, go ahead, Sammy, tell her what you know. She was like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was like, Sammy, that's what your ass get. Because I know she was scared to tell because she was afraid that the whole million dollar payout, all of that shit was going to come out. So she was like, um, well, I didn't want to say nothing. But she was like, I did see Nicole and Xander going to the Salem Inn together and stuff like that when she was looking for John and Marlena. And Marlena backed it up. She was like, yeah, I did. You know, because she was on her way to the bistro to go see John and Marlena about Brady. And Marlena was like, yeah, we did see Sammy at the beach show that night and stuff like that. We saw her at the square or whatever. So they backed that part up. And Sammy was coming up with all these bullshit ass excuses talking about some, oh, I wanted to get proof before I made a big thing out of it or whatever. Um, like just going, you know, just laying it on thick, talking about how much she loved Eric and stuff. You don't love no damn Eric. No, you don't. You do not love him. You do not love him. You hate Nicole more than you love your own brother and that's a sad shame but I ain't mad at Eric for knocking Xander on his ass though like he straight up just said boop I ain't even mad at him for hitting him I'm not mad at all like, I was like you deserve that shit so they ended up getting Xander the hell up out of here or whatever and you know Brady was like nah forget this I need to go after him or whatever you know to get some answers um because Chloe was asking Brady, did he know anything or whatever? Because the way his facial expression was given off, like he knew something. Like he knew it was true that Nicole Slett was Ander. Um, Because John didn't believe that Nicole Slett was Ander at first either. He was like, yeah, Nicole would never let Xander, you know, touch her or whatever. Marlena knew it was true. Marlena knew it was true because she was like, look at the look on her face. She had like this worried look on her face, plus her body language. He was like, yeah, but she denied it. He was, She was like, yeah, she denied it, but she didn't do it vehemently. Like she didn't do it with anger. Because if she, if it wasn't true, Nicole would have denied it, you know, with anger and stuff like that. She denied it, but she didn't keep denying it. She stayed more, she stayed mostly quiet. You know what I mean? Like her body language, everything about her was given off guilt. And even Eric knew it when he was looking at her. He knew it because the way he kept staring at her and stuff and she was looking at him with tears in her eyes. He knew it was true because why are you so worried? Why are you so emotional if it's not true? I was like, damn, Nicole, you could have put on a poker face or something if you're going to lie. Um, 
you know, but she ended up admitting that it was true. It happened or whatever. So, of course, Eric stormed his ass out of there because he was asking Nicole, like, why did you hire Xander to work at Basic Black? So Chloe, of course, jumped in to try to, you know, cover for her and was like, oh, she did it because, you know, Brady wasn't ready to come back to work and I had got hurt and I couldn't work or whatever. So she needed the help. And, you know, Xander had corporate knowledge and stuff like that. So, you know, just laying it on thick and to the point where Nicole just had to say, fuck it, I got to be honest. Yeah, it happened. I slept with him. Um, She admitted it. Because Sammy gonna bring her little ass over there talking about, oh, tell Eric the truth. He deserves to know. I was so happy when Marlena jumped in there and said, Sammy, mind your damn business. I loved it. This is why I love me some Marlena. Because every time Sammy act a fool, Marlena always there to check her. And I love that. Like, get your daughter. She straight up told her, mind your goddamn business, go sit down somewhere. And she told everybody, she said, you know what? We all need to mind our business and leave. Like, let's all go. Um... So, you know, Nicole finally told him the truth and admitted that it was true. So he storms out. Um, and Bell sitting there, you know, John was understanding. John was very understanding of the situation. You know, he was like, it ain't right, you know, that she cheated or whatever, whatever. But he was like, you know, she was in a bad space. You know, her husband was gone for an extended period of time, you know, he was basically trying to be understanding of it. But Bell was like, yeah, but how could you do that to somebody? I'm like, first of all, ain't none of y'all in a position to judge because y'all all have cheated at some point in time. Y'all all have done dirt. So don't sit there and try to pass judgment under her. I don't condone cheating. But what pissed me off was how everybody was trying to throw Eric shit under the rug. Like, first of all, I don't feel bad for Eric at all. I really don't because everybody talking about how he used to be a priest and how he took his vows seriously. OK, but what about the promises that he made to Nicole when they got married? He up and left right after they got married for a whole year. And then you want to come back on your wedding anniversary and try to throw a little party. What is there to celebrate, sir? You missed the whole year of your marriage. So what was there to celebrate that one year for? What are y'all celebrating? Because you, you missed it. So how do you celebrate something that you were not a part of? I'm confused. Like, she was here by her damn self for a, a whole year, basically. So what are, you cele what, what are we celebrating a one-year anniversary for? You weren't there. Y'all didn't make no memories during that time. So, no. Ain't nobody tell his ass to leave. Like, he did not take her feelings into consideration at all when he left. Number one, you left for an extended period of time. Then when he finally came back... He extended his stay in Africa for another few weeks. He did not even ask Nicole how she felt about him doing that. He just chose to do it and then told her about it. Like, he didn't ask her. He told her, oh, I extended my time near, so I'm going to be going another few weeks. No, you should have asked your wife. Hell, you was already going for damn near a year. Now you about to leave again for another few weeks and then talk about, oh, I'll be back for good. Until what? Until the next time you get another mission call? No. Nicole need to get up out that marriage. Because in my opinion, I wouldn't apologize for shit. You left. At the end of the day, she got needs. And Sammy ain't shit. Sammy was sitting there all smug the whole time. Just, you know, all type of smug. Just, you know, smiles on her face. I was like, Sammy, you not shit. Because at the end of the day, you and Nicole was in the same situation. Y'all both cheated on y'all husbands. And this, at, instead of trying to uplift each other, y'all sitting here trying to find dirt on each other to blackmail. Y'all should have been, you know, this was a moment for y'all to kind of be frenemies and be on each other's side for once. But you chose a different route. And once the dust settled, Sammy was trying to get out of there and tell EJ, oh, we should go home or whatever. Let's go. Nicole said, no, no. She grabbed her ass up real quick, said, nah, Trick, you ain't going nowhere. She was like, no, you're going to stay in your ass right here. Because she was like, I know you had something to do with this shit. She was like, I know you did. And, you know. Sammy was trying to sit there and deny it, talking about, oh, don't blame me for your cheating. What You know, trying to quote scriptures out the Bible and stuff. And Nicole wasn't stupid. She said, bitch, I got a scripture for your ass, too. Um, You know, she would out sin, cast the first stone. And EJ was looking like, the whole time, he was looking like, bitch, what you talking about? You know, he was baffled by, you know, what Nicole was even talking about. Um, so, I, you know, it sounded like an accusation. I said, because it is. She accusing her of something. And EJ picked up on it. Um, You know, because even EJ told Sammy, like, oh, I'm glad, you know, you didn't do what she did or whatever. And that guilty look on her face, I'm like, oh, EJ, you're about to find out what she did because Nicole is on the warpath now. 
Nicole was like, okay, since my secret is out, basically she was letting Sammy know without letting her know, I'm on your ass now. I'm coming for you. I said, go ahead, Nicole. Get her. Get her. Take her ass down a peg or two. Because Sammy's stupid. You done played your trump card. You all out of hands. You all out of cards to play. So what you going to do now? Now Nicole about to get in your ass. And the funny thing about that is, Nicole doesn't have to worry about what Sammy has to worry about because when the truth about Nicole came out, she ain't got to worry about Eric trying to get revenge on her. Or nothing. She ain't got she ain't got to worry about that because that's not the type of man she she married. That's not the type of man he is. But Sammy, on the other hand, oh, we know how EJ is. Oh, EJ about to get in her ass when he find out because we all know he about to get revenge on her and Lucas. And if and if I know EJ. Trust it's gonna be swift and it's gonna be mm, it's gonna be mighty painful, I'm sure. <laughs> Cause we know how EJ is with revenge, and that motherfucker ain't no joke. He learned from Stefano, so you know it's about to be a problem. Um, that's why Sammy's so damn scared, cause she know how EJ is. I don't think she's scared like he abusive or nothing, but she know how his revenge is. So you better get ready, buckle up, cause you're about to go for a ride, Sammy. Um, and Belle wasn't buying Sammy bullshit either because even Belle was asking her, did you have anything to do with, um, Xander coming up in there or whatever? And Sammy told me, oh, I ain't had nothing to do with that. She was like, please, Nicole would, she would, you know, blame me for climate change. That shit was funny as hell because it's true. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. And Belle took notice of that too, how fast Sammy was trying to get up out of there. Belle know in her heart, Sammy guilty as shit. She know it. She was like, bitch, you guilty. See, John was trying to, you know, rationalize the whole thing like, oh, Sammy would never do that. Belle said, bullshit, I know my sister. She vindictive like that. She was like, she would. She definitely would. Um, You know, Marlena and John went to go, I mean, Marlena and Roman went to go see uh, Eric or whatever and, you know, be a shoulder for him to cry on or whatever. Um, You know, it was good that they were there for him, but I'm glad, you know, they didn't stay too long because he does need his space or whatever. And I'm glad Nicole came home because her and Eric definitely need to talk. Um, so anyway, when EJ and Sammy got home, you know, she was trying to talk about getting in the shower or whatever, having a nightcap or whatever. EJ was not letting that shit go. He was like, what did uh, Nicole mean when she said you sinned or whatever? Like she was lobbying an accusation against you. He was like, Samantha, what uh, sin did you do? She, he said, basically like, bitch, what you up to now? What you do now? You better tell me now. And she's sitting there trying to play it off. I don't know what she's talking about. Sammy, you, you you digging yourself into a hole because he about to get in your ass. Um. So anyway, Brady done went over to the Horton house or whatever because Xander's sitting there counting his little million. Well, you know, part of his million because she did have to take some money out for his bail. So he he counted the money or whatever to make sure that she ain't stiff him because I say, yeah, Sammy will stiff you. <laughs> like she definitely would cheat you. Um, so he tried to hide the money real quick, put the money back in the briefcase all fast when Brady came in and Brady took notice of that shit. Like you trying to hide something. So he was trying to ask Xander, like, cause Brady was actually impressing me in this episode. He was smart today. Usually Brady get on my damn nerves, but I was happy when he did this though. Cause he went over there and was like, I know you, somebody put you up to this because he was like, Nicole gave you everything that you wanted. So why would you snitch on her? Why would you? let her secret out when you had her in the palm of your hand and he's still trying to cover up like he don't know what brady talking about brady was like bitch i ain't stupid somebody put you up to this because you got your job you got everything you want and brady let him know you no longer have a job at basic black he was like your ass is fired um and he peeped something too that's what i like today about brady and usually i don't like brady at all but today i was loving it because he noticed that Xander, the whole time they've been in that living room talking, Xander has not moved one inch from that spot he was standing at, covering the coffee table. He was like, why are you just standing there and not moving? He was like, you've been literally standing in that same spot this entire time. What are you trying to hide? So he moved his ass out the way and saw that briefcase with that money in it. He was like, uh-huh. He said, he said, I knew it. Somebody, he said, so that's how you ended up at the pub snitching on Nicole. Somebody paid your ass. So he was like, who paid you? So, of course, he wasn't trying to tell. So, Chloe came up in there or whatever, and Xander left. And, you know, 
Chloe filled him in that, you know, Nicole accused Sammy of getting involved in setting this whole thing up. So Brady put two and two together and was like, yeah, it would make sense because she would be the only person to have the access to that kind of money that was in that briefcase because she is a Demira, so she would have access. My thing is, where the hell did she get a million dollars from anyway without EJ knowing about it? Where did Sammy get that kind of money? All quick. I'm like, do her and EJ got a shared bank account or something? And he don't know that a million dollars is missing out of their account? Because I'm pretty sure if they had the same bank account, EJ would know that a million was missing. And I'm pretty sure he would ask her where that money went. And so that's a whole new lie she would have to come up with. I'm like, where you get that money on such short notice? I don't know that many people unless you rich, rich, where you liquid enough to have a million on hand. Where the hell you come up with that kind of cash so fast? Um. Also, I felt bad for Philip. I really did because he was ready to take Chloe home and stuff, you know, because it was an eventful night. So he was like, you know, we should go home or whatever. She's sitting there. No, I got to find Brady. I got to find out where Brady is, um, you know, because he's still healing or whatever. So she just stormed out of there looking for Brady and left Philip at the pub by himself. So Philip, you know, was sitting there texting her or whatever, asking where she was and if anything was OK. He was like, you know, I'm going to sit at the pub or whatever and wait on you until whenever. I felt so bad for him because he looked lonely as shit. I felt bad for Philip. I said, Philip, you need to you need to drop her. Because for her to keep chasing after Brady and stuff, always trying to talk about Brady, and she was all booed up with him at the damn party the whole night. Well, not booed up, but they was all up on each other the whole time at their party. I said, no, 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 no. I was like, nope, absolutely not. Philip need to leave her alone. Like, you need to go ahead and get you somebody else, because I don't like the game that Chloe playing. You worried about Brady a little bit too much. When you got your man over here, you going to leave him by himself? I said, no, drop that chicken dinner. Drop her. But anyway, I enjoyed this episode. I really did. This was a fun episode for me. I really enjoyed it. Um, Hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. I will see y'all all later. Have a great night. Peace.